And we're getting more information about this plot to kidnap the governor from the man planted by the FBI. The confidential informant is testifying in the case against the three men charged in that plot to determine if they will stand trial. Now, he's laid out never before her details that involves grenades, a civil war, and killing politicians. Local Force Grant Harms has been following all of the developments for us this morning from the hearing, and there were some, some bombshells in the testimony, Grant. Yeah, some really critical details from that testimony today. This is the first time we've heard from the FBI's man on the inside. He said he was there every step of the way in both the plan to storm Michigan's capital last summer, as well as that plot to kidnap and kill the governor. Known only as Dan, the informant was not shown on video in court to protect himself and his family, but the judge did allow his voice to be recorded. Dan, a veteran of the Iraq war who testified he suffered a traumatic brain injury during his tour, is also a postal worker. He says he was introduced to the Wolverine Watchman through a suggested page recommendation on Facebook. Dan said the group was convinced there was a coming civil war and members frequently trained to attack law enforcement using assault rifles, vehicles and explosives. At one point, Dan saying one of the men brought a grenade to the Operation Gridlock protest against COVID restrictions in the early weeks of the pandemic. He also told the court the three men charged, Pete Musico, Joseph Morrison, and Paul Ballar, helped lead the watchman and coordinated with other extremists to plot to storm the Capitol with the intent of shooting law enforcement and politicians. Dan saying he initially joined the group for the firearms training, but later went to police when more violent rhetoric started to be used. I believe towards the end of our, our stay on wire is when politicians were being talked about. Good. Um, just finding the address of the governor. Uh, there was times that people would want to know the, the address for the governor. And Dan also gave a nearly minute to minute breakdown of what it was like to be inside the Capitol last spring. A lot of eerie similarities to what happened in D.C. on January 6th. He also had a breakdown of what led up to that plot to kidnap and kill the governor, including how they were hoping that it would set off a civil war. Everard will have more on that coming up tonight at five and six. Back to you. All right. Grant Herms reporting for us live this afternoon. We know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you for the update. New here at noon.